Seems like, man, we've been talking to you for 10 years. You've been around so long. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. coming on that last season now? Nah, it went by fast, but you know, I'm excited. We went out to go out with a bang, so I'm looking forward to this year. When you say go out with a bang, I mean, you've made some big shots in your career, but how important is it for you to, to kind of get the ball back on the map before you finish your career? I mean, I think it's really important. You know, everybody want to go out with a, with a bang. Everybody want to win. So I think I just don't want to leave the ball as in, like, I want to leave the ball like they remember me, a team that, that was on a team that turned it around. So I think we got a real chance this year to do that. What do you see with this team that encourage you, encourages you that this year is going to be different? Uh, the depth. I think we're real deep and we're real athletic. I think we can go at least 10 or 12 deep this year, at least. So it should be interesting. Are you guys, do you feel like you're getting Coach Purnell's system right now? I think we have it. I think uh, the summer was like a big advantage for us. We got to practice, so we put in a couple of the basics for the um, young guys. But I think we have it, you know, now we can just put it together on the court. All right, man, all the best this season. All right, thank, oh, thank you. you. Thanks right, you. You're here for the team, but individually, you guys played well. Coming into this season, how important is it for you, for the DePaul basketball as a team to do well, not just you individually? Well, you know, it's a it's a big thing for us, you know, because last year we didn't have a good season, so we're trying to turn things around and get more fans to come out to our game. So it's just all a work in progress and working hard every day and just, you know, just keeping that route and just moving forward. Coach said that he saw positive things, even though, you know, you win seven games, one Big East win, but what did you see that is encouraging you that this is going to be a better season this year? That, you know, every every minute on the court, we always fight and we don't take a playoff and stuff like that. That's one thing he, he stresses is play 100%, 100% every time you're out there on the court and just give your effort. Uh, how was that trip to France? Oh, it was a great experience. You know, I got to do things I never did before. You know, things a lot of people don't get to do every day. So it's just a blessing that I got to go out there, spend it with my team and my coaches, and it was just a lot of fun. Did you pick up any French? You speaking French now? Yeah, I speak French. I took some French classes in high school. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Did you use it over there? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> Not like that, though. Cleveland said he liked the food, but the French fries. I said, you can get that here. Yeah. It was, it was all right. Some of the French food was good, though. Yeah? Overall, it was it was okay. How, how do you think it helped the team? Uh, you know, it helped the team great. You know, we got to bond together. We got to spend more time with people that we usually don't spend a lot of time with. So. Other than that, it's great, you know. We got a we got a good bond now. You know, we took our team to France. We had 10 days of preparation. So we got a chance to be around quite a bit. And uh, I think we accomplished a lot of things. And now it's time to build on it. The guys said they enjoyed the bonding with their teammates. They don't, you know, spending time with guys they don't normally off the court. But how important was it basketball-wise to get that experience playing games over there? Well, arguably our three best players last year were freshmen. We've got six new faces, so that's uh, a lot of freshmen and sophomores. So to have 10 days of practice, uh, really got 20 practices in because we went twice, twice, four games, that's invaluable for us. It just gives us a jump start on a very, very young team. It was a transition year for you, kind of establishing your program, your philosophy. How encouraged are you going into this season that they, they get it and they understand you can start building on that foundation? Well, I'm encouraged that we build a foundation, just, just like you said. But we got some new players that have got to get it. Uh, so it's up to these guys, the, the core group of guys coming back to kind of help us let them know, you know, what it takes to compete at this level. Uh, very encouraged about the fact that we've got six new guys, much more athleticism, which is important to our style. So, so we are excited and, and, and optimistic about the new year. Every coach, every player, every competitor wants to win. So your patience was tried a little bit last year. This year, do you feel like you can make that big jump and be competitive in the Big East and, and, and have a, a winning record, have a you know the kind of style of basketball you want to play? Well, it's important uh, to remember, first of all, the Big East was the best league maybe in the history of college basketball last year. Uh, UConn, the 10th place team, ended up winning the uh, national championship. Uh, you got 16 teams. Well, if we can make a jump to uh, you know eighth or ninth place, we got we got a great chance, and that's what we're looking to do is is not necessarily climb all the way to the to the to the top, uh, but to improve, uh, to uh, move forward. And if we can continue to do that, then I think the wins and losses will take care of themselves. The guy said they learned a little bit of French over there, but I, I asked a Cleveland, I said, what, what does he enjoy the most? He said, I love the food, the right. French fries. I said, well, you can get that here. Right, right. <laughs> exactly. I, I think they felt like they were better over there because uh, they felt like they originated there. But guys, they, they're they learning an awful lot. They took advantage of the uh, culture, the educational experience, got credit for a class that they started here and, and finished over there, walked in the steps of the founder of the school, St. Vincent de Paul. Uh, I was really... Uh, 
shop that the guys got so into it educationally and, and, and culturally. And obviously the basketball was really, really important to us as well. Well, as long as they speak one French word, we. Right. You can <laughs> that's that, right. That's, <laughs> that's a good one for me. That's right. All right, All right. Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh -huh.